I'm Ian Bittron. I'm Executive Director of ISPIM, mm -hmm. the International Society for Innovation Management. And uh, I'm here with uh, Chia Sato, who is the latest fellow of ISPIM. So, Chia, would you like to introduce yourself? Okay, thank you, Ian. Uh, I'm Chia Sato from Japan, and I'm a consultant working mainly on the topic of global societal co-creation and open innovation. And I have, uh, I'm feeling so lucky to be in ISPIM Tallinn. Uh, today. Wonderful. So, um, as you know, we're going to be going to Osaka in December this year, mm -hmm. and it's been a long time coming. We've been planning this for six years since we were last in Japan when we were in Fukuoka in 2018. Uh, obviously, there's been a few uh, hiccups along the uh, path. We've had COVID in the way, but um, actually, it's it's helped in a little way because uh, uh, in 2025, we're going to have the World Expo, which takes place in Osaka. So, um, our conference is actually going to be um, showcasing a little bit of what's happening, not only in Osaka, but in also uh, connected to the World Expo 2025. But Chia, um, please let me know, why do you think it's a good time now to come to Japan and what can people expect in Osaka? Mm -hmm. Okay, first of all, as a Japanese, uh, the, every time would be a, a good point, a good time for us to have ISPIM anywhere in Japan. But Osaka is also a really good choice, I think. First of all, Osaka is one of the biggest city in Japan, and usually, historically, it has a really great uh, the, the characteristics in trading and businesses. That is the first point. And secondly, uh, uh, the, as a tourist, uh, the, the environment and their food would be great. So that would be a good reason for you to come to Osaka, I guess. Certainly, the uh, the food is amazing, mm -hmm. and uh, I have uh, had quite a lot of it so far. Um, but I was going to say about the industries that are, are prominent in uh, in Osaka. Which sort of companies could uh, could be interesting to visit? Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, in terms of the um, the subject matters that are important in a city like Osaka, what can people expect? Mm -hmm. Okay. For example, as for the the company, uh, you may know all of you may know the name of Panasonic. Sure. And they are located in. Uh, they have been located in Osaka, and their attitude is, of course, these days their attitude is global one. But basically, their attitude historically was a kind of. Ma the attitude of merchants. So that is what we can learn from Osaka area in general. So that is the situation there, I guess. So um, the World Expo, just turning to the World Expo mm -hmm. in 2025, um, you know, the last time it took place in Osaka was in 1970, I believe. Wow, yes. And, um, you know, events like World Expo, um, what kind of legacy do you think they could leave for not only the Kansai region, but for Japan now? Mm -hmm. Good question. The legacy from the Expo in 1970 was huge one for us. Because in that time, we are growing up. So the, the Expo brought us a lot of new stimulations uh, from the world. So that is one legacy we could also expect from the next one. But the, the point we should look at closely would be the, the change of our timing. So the Expo would bring us another big impact uh, the, as big as the uh, legacy of the Expo 1970 have given us, I'm not sure, but let's see it. Well, it'd be interesting. Certainly, um, we have uh, some of the key people from Expo 2025 coming to speak at mm -hmm. the conference in Osaka, and we're also going, we will go out and visit, mm -hmm. uh, well, go and have a look at where the site is. Mm -hmm. And I know it takes place in April next year, so yes. it should be uh, pretty much done by the time we're there in December. I hope so. Um, just uh, one last point then is uh, this conference that we're doing in December, we're not doing alone. Mm -hmm. So we're uh, going to be partnering with the Japan Innovation Network. Mm -hmm. So um, I know you've been involved with them, with uh, Kono Sensei. Mm -hmm. 
And perhaps you can tell me a little bit more about the Japan Innovation Network and why you think that the collaboration with ISPIM is such a good thing. Uh, the actually, Kondo Sensei is one of the most esteemed person in the area of innovation and innovation management. So uh, these days, uh, Japan Innovation Network is led by uh, the Professor Kondo, and uh, they are, they have been working on innovation a lot, mainly from business side, but also uh, with uh, Professor Kono from a kind of society side as well. So it would be great for ISPIM to work with them uh, in Osaka, I guess. Wonderful. So um, we should have a, a great conference in December 2024. Yes, yeah, certainly. And, uh, you know, ISPIM together with the Japan Innovation Network, together with World Expo 2025. Mm -hmm. So I think we should say welcome to Osaka 2024. Look forward to seeing you there. Okay, see you then. Thank you, Jie. Thank you. Interesting. <laughs>